This is my farm in the middle of the Mallee. This is our harvest for 2019. We've got about 2,000 bales. Wow! Of 368. Right, poor people in Queensland. You'd have to feel sorry. They'd, they'd be that excited to see this crop. And the next door neighbour's got big squares. This is our round roll loading system. All of this is a shuttle tank bottom and some spikes and a pull. Now that's just a ramp for it to roll up, is that correct? Explain it as you go, Jeff. Well, these are the arms that we pull the, the bale up with. Push that in there. Yeah. One each side. One each side. This is our anchor point. Two people, especially the wife, you can help too. Put this other one in. So that locks onto the tailgate, is that correct? Yeah. Tailgate keeper. And it would suit most tailgates, would it? Yeah. Now we get our winch and hook onto the pull and start pulling it up. Is the whole point of this, Jeff, that uh, it's a very simple, cheap machine to avoid the expense of a very expensive loader? That's right. That's right. So for farmers who might be battling a bit, yeah. this might be a, a great decision for them.
to load your hay if you've got just got a few cattle or sheep. Right. You need a winch and the and the loading system and a tie down and you're away. Now if for example people wanted to buy this sort of equipment, what do you estimate it might roughly cost? About three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Excluding the winch. You'll have to get your own winch. So young struggling farmers yep. heed the call. Yep. Start off in a frugal kind of way. I know Jeff Smith, I've known him for a long time. He is a frugal farmer. And that's why he always has managed to survive no matter what the drought, the flood or whatever. Is that or correct, Jeff? Or low prices. Or even low prices. Frugality leads to flourishing. That's right. And do you leave that on while you're travelling or you just put up the tailgate? Now we're loaded. 